First of all, um, I started doing this on, on Twitter, but Twitter, they are restricting me, restricting me, restricting me. I want to first of all say, uh, you can follow me on Twitter um, with the name Boris M Moro, B-O-R-O-I-S, M-O-R-O, M-O-R-O, -O. hello? So the whole scenario is that President Muhammad Ubuari, he died on the 19th of February. On the 19th of February, please, those analysts, if you can take notes, take pen and your paper and note these things down. Note them down carefully. I'll be giving a specific things here, specific details right now. Okay, number one, President Muhammad Ubuari died on the 19th of February, the year 2017. He died in uh, Newcastle, in Freeman Hospital, Newcastle. He died as a result of heart problem, heart disease, which the Nigeria presidency failed to disclose. On the 19th of February, I was in London by the special grace of God. I'm a journalist. I work with one of the Nigeria um, uh, broadcasting station and uh, one of the leading Nigeria broadcasting stations. So I cover the event in London. He died in Freeman Hospital, Newcastle. I was there. I cover the event. Then, you know, Muslim, they don't... Um, um and burn people so on the 20th on the 20th of uh february he was flew in to saudi arabia where he was buried i was there live and i covered the event where aisha Buhari put on white attire i think you are with me go ahead so where Aisha Buhari put on white can, attire and the can you, and can, you can you pause can you pause a bit can you pause a bit and let All me right. let me remind Nigerians and the entire world that this this event he said he covered he have the video he has so the video I, I do go ahead I have all the video so so the Nigeria um um uh Aisha was putting on white as a sign of mourning to her husband, who is the late president Muhammad Buhari. Then the children, according to the Muslim tradition, were putting on black. I have the video, I have the photo, oh, oh graph and everything. You understand? Then on the twenty-third, on the twenty-third of February, I was in Ethiopia as a journalist, I move around. So I was in Ethiopia where the African Union, the AU, hold a summit, a mini silent for late President Muhammad Buhari on the 23rd of February, the year 2017. Hold on, please. hold on, hold on, please, hold on. I know that interrupting you is very, I know this kind of thing is very, very uh, difficult, but please hold on. Now, uh, you after covering the event, you went to Ethiopia on the 23rd of April, of, uh, the 23rd oh, of February, February, February yes. 2017. And yes. you covered, you were there at the African Union Summit or whatever. Yes. You covered it with your own camera as a journalist, and yes. you have the video. Exactly, I Go do. Ahead. Go ahead. So, I covered the events there where the African Union hold a mini silent for late President Muhammad Buhari. So, to show their last respect to the late President Muhammad Buhari of the Nigeria government. Then, on the uh, 28th, on the 28th of uh, February, still, which I think is the last day of February. Then, uh, 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 what was it called? Um, Queen Elizabeth gave a condolence statement to the Nigeria 
government in respect of late President Muhammadu Buhari and which went viral. Yeah. So, all of these, the Nigeria government led by late uh, uh, Abakari and uh, um, uh, with the Kaba swept under the carpet for for selfish and greed reasons. Then on the on the on the second of um, on the second of uh, March, uh, Eric Joyce, the ex British lawmaker, Eric Joyce, ex British lawmaker. He issued a statement that a condolent statement to Nigeria for the loss of her president. Are you with me, sir? Yes. Then, then they swept it on that carpet, and the man got angry to and came out to say that President Muhammad Buhari is dead. If President Muhammad Buhari is, if they think he is lying, that they should come out to challenge him. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, yes, that they yes. Should, they should come out to challenge him in the court of law, that he will come out with every evidence to prove that Muhammad Buhari is dead. As I talked to you since 2017, this meaning nobody, nobody, nobody from the Nigeria government all across the nations of the earth came out to challenge Eric Joyce, the ex-British lawmaker. That went by. Then on April, April, April seventeenth, April seventeenth, uh, one um, American journalist by name Max Smith, he came up to to say that the corruption going on in Nigeria is unbearable. That he 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 can only imagine how the Nigerians are surviving in that country that there is corruption everywhere, you understand? So we just talked over all this. But what actually prompted me to come out to, to this tonight is, one, the Nigerian youth have been suffering eight, 60 years of independence, 60 years of suffering and smiling, and yet the, the government is taking them for granted. Now the Nigerian youth, they came up to say, no, enough is enough. We don't need this anymore. Let's put an end to this. All what they could do was to send the military, it will fire them. If they think maybe I am lying, let Aisha Buhari, the wife of the late President Buhari, come up to tell me that, that the, the, the imposter parading himself as the Buhari is her husband. If I am lying, okay, hold, it, the, hold it, hold it there, hold it there. First of all, I want you to tell me because you are a very, you are a, you know, a, one of the best journalists. But people don't know. Like I said, I don't. You don't need to mention your name. Continuing that Abakari is dead. Abakari did not die of COVID nineteen. Coronavirus did not kill him. The master is dead. That is number one. I have proof for everything I'm saying because I am a media personnel. Um, let me say that very clearly. I don't want to mention the name of my of the um uh, broadcasting uh, this thing I work with. Don't so it, yeah. The, yeah, the 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 our firm our firm was suspended by the National Broadcasting Commission NCC M NBC National uh, Broadcasting Commission suspended our our firm our our uh, broadcasting station from airing because we we carry the news because, you were, because that, yeah because they know they have yeah. information that you were there you were there yeah, and you so, followed everything so when you came to nigeria they banned they suspended you from they suspended your so, so i'm coming to that sir i'm okay. coming to that sir let's not watch it i then uh, let um after carry called me to Asa rock you understand what i'm saying yeah. so I flew into Abuja to go and see him, and he told me that if I can keep quiet, that my safety to be alive will be guaranteed, and for my generation to come on, no, we suffer again as a result of the pride he was offering me. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. So I told him, accepting bribe is not a problem, 
but my conscience will judge me till I die. Yes. So I cannot do that. And to God who made me, I'm saying this categorically, and, and God Almighty is my witness. I did not take a dime from him. So I left. Then I called um, Bola Tunubu Asiwaju, okay. the... Uh, the uh 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 the Le the legal state uh, richest man on earth let me use the word so i called him i called him on his mtn line i can call the line now the mtn line that i use in reaching him i can i can um uh, say it here the number is a zero eight zero six two two four zero one zero four that is the number i use in calling um, Bola Tinubu, um, Asiwanju. So I called him on phone to tell him about the, the development. He came on to tell me that I should shut up, I should keep quiet, and so many other trash and losses that he, he told me that at the end of the day, I was suspended from my work. You understand? As a so, journalist. Okay, hold on, hold it there, hold it there. So you called Bola Ame Tinubu to tell yes. Tinubu. Of course, you normally call him too. This is not the first time I, you are calling him, by the way. We normally communicate. Okay, so you call him on this number you called now. 80 yes. 4104 Yes. And I then, he, and then he, he tell you to shut up and tell you a lot of things. He, he, he specifically, I can still remember, I, have, I still have the record of that conversation. You understand? Because okay. as a journalist... You keep record of things because he has to call you my name. You understand me? Okay. So I still have the record of that conversation. So when I called him, I, he told me that Nigeria is not like other countries. That what that that Nigeria uh, 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 ends of affair revolve and uh, must continue to revolve around the cycle. You understand now? Mm -hmm. he, he told me that it must continue to revolve around the cycle. That the system of governance in Nigeria is different from every system of governance in the world on earth. That in Nigeria transparency is is something that they don't try with. That they try to hide everything. That it's not everything the masses must know. It's not everything the masses, the people of Nigeria must be aware of. Are you getting what I'm saying, sir? Yes. So, so he told me, and he he offered me money too. He offered me a bribe. He said, as long as I kept quiet, then I called the 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 vice president too. Uh, yeah, me, Osi Banjo. You I called, went to. You called the vice yes. president too. Okay. Yes, I have his contact, but I, I for security reasons, we don't want to disclose his contact to the public. You understand okay, what I'm so saying? Yes, go ahead. If you need this one, if you need this one, no, 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 just go ahead, go ahead, okay. no, no, no. So I called, I called Professor Yemi Osi Banjo. I called him. I went to his office to meet him in Osoro, Kenabunja. So when I got there. And I told him, sir, we all we understood because I was the one that covered the news. And from social place, I introduced myself to him and he welcomed me, he sat me down. I told him this according to the law that I I know because my father is in Nigeria. You understand me now? My father is in Nigeria, my mother is from the British, is from England. So I I told him that according to the laws that I know in Nigeria, when the president died, the vice president, so naturally will become the president, you understand, as a way of moving the country forward. He said that the Nigerian government is not run in that system. I said, no, when Bruno Jonathan was there, that was what happened when the, the president died. He was the vice president and he came up to be the president. You understand what I'm saying? And he said, please, for my safety, I should keep quiet. So my people, now don't say the man we did for us so wrong. But what will be the matter now be say, when uh, Yaradua die during the time of good luck, good luck, take over. Then why they not allow Osim Bajo take over when Buhari died? I can say Osim Bajo no rule as a vice president because when Buhari died, 
Osita just was stand on his grass. Okay, let me be the president now until election again, just as they do for good luck time. But no, what do you people think about this situation now when Nigeria did? This man will sit down for us so rock will not be boring our president. What do you guys think? On the canopy, this man they talk truth. You see, huh? now he make us open with the commoners. Now he make us understand. Say that man is not a president. You guys can see now. You see the wuru wuru we did for this our country. How our country could take settle with all this wuru wuru. I leave my matter for you. Oh. I rest my case for you. Please drop a comment there. Your comment is very very important. See you on our next video. Ciao, ciao.